I'm sure everybody's interested in knowing the backstory about how the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and the Tulsa Zoo came to hand rear these tiger cubs. Despite having, you know, exceptional care and exceptional facilities at, at, at both locations, this was a, a first time birth event for both of these females. And as everybody can imagine, you know, it's such a unique life history event. And the best that we can figure is that it was just an overwhelming experience for both of these females. And uh, we monitored the birth throughout and we waited till the 11th hour to intercede to allow these, these first time moms to, to learn and gain knowledge the best they can to be uh, successful mothers. Uh, but there just was not the maternal bonding that we felt that uh, they were going to survive with their mothers. So uh, we interceded and took them under uh, human care. Humans can, you know, provide nutritional support. We can provide, you know, great care and food and nutrition, uh, but we're no substitutes for the behavior and social welfare of a solitary tiger. So it's of paramount importance that the single tiger was housed with other tigers because it's incredibly important for the social and behavioral rearing uh, for them to be raised with other tigers. The Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and the Tulsa Zoo have a great cooperative relationship. Uh, this involves you know, um, partnering on tiger conservation, but it also involves partnering on tiger husbandry and tiger welfare. Bringing this tiger from the Tulsa Zoo to Cleveland is actually a really good thing for our community here in Cleveland because it gives us the opportunity to see a different subspecies of tiger than we normally have. Their interactions to date has really showcased why it was such the right decision to hand rear. Um, it was almost an immediate bonding. The trio has been nesting together, playing together. 